I apologize that I've waited so long. Um, I've spent 80 to 100 hours on this the last two weeks. Uh, my brain is fried. Um, but I would encourage your comments and um, hope that you give this real consideration before you move forward with any of the expansion project. Thanks for coming. Okay. Can I ask you a question if you don't mind? Absolutely. And, and we certainly do appreciate you coming up. And we do welcome the public to come up, whether they're for us or against our project. We do welcome that. Um, you say you've been familiarized yourself with our project right. quite a bit. So you're familiar with Morton Marcus, the economist from Indiana University. I, read, I didn't read over what he had mentioned. I don't exactly remember. Okay, what he said. you're you're aware that he's that uh, he's putting together a very extensive study on the economic impact of the airport for this area. Why couldn't yeah. that have been done before any of this had progressed? It wasn't time for that. It's part of the environmental assessment. The and LP has to be the LP has to be approved first. It's part of the environmental assessment. We have to do things, you know, right. like that. We will invite you when he does come up with his study, and we don't know the answer to it. Actually, he was invited to do that. He wasn't able to make a certain conclusion. When he comes, we'd certainly like to invite you to come listen to what his conclusions have to say. Statistics can be, uh, we can all make statistics, you know, say anything we want. We do welcome your comments. Uh, we feel strongly that there is an economic benefit and, and many other benefits to this airport and this expansion. But it stops right there in the explanation. Show me, show me the data that it's going to actually prove before you get these folks land. You know, show me that it actually will do what you yeah. say it will. Okay, and you're opposed to in the domain, and we sure, certainly yes. appreciate that. I mean, some people are. Um, I presume you've driven on like Interstate 74. Sure have. Okay, yeah. that's all I have. Thank you. Sure have. And I, I won't leave it right there. Um, I understand that um, I have participated in taking the folks' land because I love drive on Interstate 70. And I, although I wasn't uh, info well informed of the Lincoln Street project, I'm, I've been told actually that some of that has been affected by eminent domain as well. Um, and I apologize to those folks who have been affected. Uh, this really boils down to, uh, you know, we're all promised the freedom to make choices. And what you are about to do is take away these folks' freedom to choose. And I think that's sad. And I, I honestly, um, I honestly believe that I can't stand up to my five-year-old son and my eight-month-old and tell them that nobody, your land is not your land. Your land is only your land if the government doesn't want it. And I think that's sad.